Hello, this is a story about fine art and fetish, about sex in the late 1960s, and about how all those things came together in the shape of a classic 1970s movie. But most of all, it's about these sculptures. Chair, table, hat stand. They're by a British artist called Alan Jones, who looked like this when he was 40, and looks and sounds like this today. It's not a seat. It's a sculpture that looks like a seat. He made them in 1969, at a time of Bond Girls, Bardo and Barbarella. Do you remember that Roger Vadim film he made with his then wife, Jane Fonda? It came out a year before Jones's sculptures. Alan Jones just said that was how it was back then. It was uh, the zeitgeist and he was acting on that as a pop artist following in the footsteps of Andy Warhol and Eduardo Palazzi. It was a subject that interested him. With my painting for the last, in the, the last half of the 60s, um, the figures were becoming more and more volumetric and I realized I wanted to make them as tactile as possible. And in the end, it was obvious that I should take a risk and and, 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 and make the figure in three dimension. When he first came up with the idea, he was going to address his mannequins come sculptures in a completely different way. I was going to go to CNA and get a, a clothes uh, and shop where my mother used to shop and everything and put it on the sculpture. But then he thought that if he dressed them in fetish or SNM clothes, it would enhance their sculptural form. I'd seen in some adult comic, uh, uh, comic books um, uh, a cartoon of, um, of, uh, of, fi of figures as tables, as, and, uh, and I thought that was a great idea. The sculptures made him famous, but some people thought they were terrible, were morally repugnant, were objectifying women. Whatever I said sounded like an excuse, but the fact of the matter is that um, I was not making an object out of women. Women were the subject. The object was a sculpture. But there was one man who liked them very much. Kubrick saw my sculptures in the exhibition and uh, rang me up. I never met him, but he rang me up and said, uh, um, can, I, can I borrow them for a movie I'm making? Stanley Kubrick wanted Jones to work with him on his latest film project. I said, well, they're, they're not film props. Uh, you, want, you, want to use, you want me to design something, I'll design something. So. Um, he sent me the uh, book of the Clockwork Orange, which I read, and uh, then said um, that it would be good, that, you know, if I could do the milk bar. So I did some designs, uh, and then um, he said, we had to get round to talking about money. And uh, uh, he said, "Oh, I, I," he said, "Oh, money." He said, I, "I thought you would do it for a credit." And I said, "Well, it's going to be three or four months' work, and um, I can't afford to work for free, you know." And he said. Um, well, I'm a famous film director and your name will get around the world. And I thought it was a pretty mad thing to say, actually. And uh, he said, but I'm not a, 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 a theatre designer. I said, um, if you get me a show at the Louvre, I'll do it for free. And I, I, I said, listen, don't worry about it. You like the idea, uh, feel free to use it. You know, that was a smart move. If Alan Jones had allowed Kubrick to use his sculptures as props, they would have moved from being valuable works of art to worthless ephemera. The irony is, of course, is that um, I'm always associated with, with, with it and people think I've done it anyway. But I think whoever did do them actually did a much better job than I would because um, they were designing something which in cinematic terms is actually, in reality, a scene for 30 seconds or a minute and I would have designed something to be seen for 50 years. There's another connection, I think, between A Clockwork Orange and these sculptures. They're both about the near future, intentional on the part of Anthony Burgess, the book's author, prescient by Alan Jones. Most people uh, under the age of 30, 35 maybe, uh, um, uh, look at them, aren't threatened by them, don't see it as an insult to uh, one half of humanity, uh, which in fact they are not. I don't care what anybody says, the sculptures do objectify women, both literally and metaphorically. But then so does our society, now perhaps more than ever in an Alan Jones type way, particularly in popular culture, upon which of course pop art is designed to comment. You know, they say that society, we, get the art that we deserve. Stanley Kubrick certainly knew that, and so I think does Alan Jones.